Hi, I'm Jonathan Farrick, Product Manager of Carbonite Server Backup. Today I'm going to walk you through some of the new features available with the latest release of Carbonite Server Backup version 5.2. With this release, we're making it a lot easier for partners to monitor and manage their Carbonite Server Backup customers. Unlike in the past, we're bringing as much information as possible into the portal so that you can manage them just from within your centralized dashboard. So let's take a look at a sample customer account. Here you can see that this customer has three servers, and you can get an immediate view of the notifications for that server. Now if I wanted to get even more details about these servers that they have, I can click on the Server Overview tab, and that will bring me to the next page where I can see that they have three servers, and I can also see the amount of backup sets they have on each. You also get a glimpse into the total amount of storage that you're using, both locally and in the cloud for these individual servers, as well as the status of every backup set for those servers. So what you'll see over here on the right is you'll see failures, the warnings, and the successes. And this will be the last status of each backup set that you have on those machines. Now let's say we want to take a look at this server here, FS09. Once we drill into the server, you can see the individual backup sets on this page with some more details about the total amount of storage used, as well as the status of their last five backups. So you get a quick glimpse of the last five things that happened and the states of those backups. Now if we take a look at daily backup that has a failed backup and we want to see exactly what's going on, we can click into it. Here we get an even more detailed view of this specific backup set. You can take a quick glimpse of the last backup and see that it failed. You can see their storage and retention settings as well as their backup schedule and a quick calendar view of those last backups that they had to see some of the statuses as well. A little bit below you can see all of the backups that have happened and the cycles that they belong to. So you can see their full backups and all of the corresponding inc incremental backups that belong with it, as well as details about each, such as the size, as well as statuses. Now if we were to go back up and take a look at this failure, you can see the notification, and you can click to learn more, which will take you to one of our knowledge base articles, or depending on the issue itself, may give you a quick hover over to give you some steps to rectify the issue. Now let's say we want to change someone's retention. Rather than actually having to go to the machine itself, you can just click on edit retention here, and this will bring you to a page that you can get a quick overview of both the local and cloud retention if you did want to change it for your customer. So let's say I did want to change it. I could change it to six for this one and maybe go over here and I'll change this to six as well. Once done, you can save it. You'll go back and you'll see now my, both my cloud and my local retention are set to six as I did on the previous screen. We believe that this is gonna make it a lot easier for our partners to manage their Carbonite server backup customers. In the past, you had to connect to each machine individually in order to see the status or errors that were occurring on the server. With this new release, you'll be able to go to your centralized dashboard and get a quick and easy overview of everything that's going on with all of your Carbonite Server backup customers. For more great how-to knowledge, take a look through the channel partner playlist on Carbonite's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a Carbonite channel partner.